Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am having real problems at the moment. Um, yeah, I started recording and I've been having problems. My battery ran out and then when I switched the camera back on it wouldn't recognise the card. So I, mean, I had to delete all the footage and reformat the card and fiddle around with it. So I lost a bit. All I did was put a bit of orange from the um, uh, Derwent Colour Softs over the top and I did the stem and a little bit of green now and I'm going to do a bit more green now on this which isn't a hair it's a leaf it looks like leaves anyway there are some leaves so I'll start again hopefully we won't have a problem with it this time I don't know whether it's a problem with the camera or the memory cards or there's some dust in the um, memory card slot one one memory card it will not recognize at all so I don't know I I'll have to have a look at it because I really want to make some videos for you so you'll be seeing this on uh, hopefully Monday and I'll be filming a weekly vlog. I mean it is typical though that um, I didn't do a weekly vlog last week and loads happened last week. It would have been a good week for a weekly vlog but yeah I didn't so. It's very annoying. Um, I had loads of sales last week. I've had one this weekend. I, I think I took something like six to the post office on Tuesday and five on Thursday. And at the moment, Tuesday, I will be taking one. So I also had car problems. We ended up having two days off because my car died. Well, it didn't die. It's just overheating. But we're not sure what the problem is. So it's in the garage and it might mean I need to get a new car, which won't be a brand new car because I can't afford a brand new car because I'm broke, yeah. I don't really want a new car because of the hassle. I mean, it's nice to have a new car, even if it's not new, if that makes any sense. A new second-hand car, none of this makes any sense, does it? Let's be honest. But it's just so much hassle dealing with things like No, find the DVLA, changing all the insurance, and then on top of that, learning how a new car handles. I mean, I just, I just haven't got the energy to really deal with it at the moment, so I don't want to. It's very late on Sunday night. I should be in bed asleep, ready, getting ready for work tomorrow. But as you know, I can only do these when Jennifer and Paul are in bed. And of course, I had problems with the camera. So I'm hoping it's going to work. I've got my cola here. Probably shouldn't be drinking that with it being bedtime. Who oh. cares? Okay. So yes, if I can keep the camera working, um, I really don't know what it is. I am planning on doing some more colouring videos shortly. Because what I wanted to do was a kind of... Um, budget-friendly series so I, I understand that I'm currently using Prismacolors which are not cheap I've got Polychromos they're not cheap and I've got Derwent and they're not cheap and they are the main ones I use I've also got the complete set of Roditon uh, Tombow and Roditons I've got the three sets of Black Widows and while they're only like £20 per set that around 20 quid a set that does add if you want all of them. I haven't got the skin tones, I've got the main colours. That's like, like 60 quid for the entire set. So I've got things like their feelers and I've got some W. Smith ones that I've got on order that you'll see in a haul soon if the camera's working. So I thought I would just um, do a colouring on a budget thing and we'll see how well we can colour with cheaper pencils and cheaper paper. I mean, obviously this is a cheap paper because it's a Amazon book. It's Jade Summer, so it's Amazon, so it's on Create Space, which I don't think is as bad in the UK as it is in the States, but it's not a brilliant paper, but it's all right. So as I've already got the feelers, I will be doing them first 
I have used the feelers in a video before and I do quite like them but I thought it would be nice to see what we could do with them. Outside of, you know, do one picture. And I wanted to do that with all the different sets, just do one one picture with all the sets. I think I did it with the Tombows. I'm just watching my camera because my camera's playing up chronic. One of the things I was thinking of doing, and I think I'm going to have to, is buying a new uh, smaller camera for vlogging. Because this DSLR is so big and I want something really small because obviously when I go out these days I've got all of Jennifer's stuff as well to take with me. So I want something I can slip into my handbag that's really small but really good. And with this one playing up I probably will. If, if the thing is it's not all the time, it's like I said it's alright at the moment. But who knows what it'll be like next time I come to try and film something. It'll probably be alright now for the rest of the evening until I've decided, right, I've done enough. But, you know, it's just so annoying. You know, this, ch this camera wasn't cheap. It was like 700 quid when I bought it. And the next one I'll be getting will probably be about four, 500 quid, for, you know, for... A, and yes, I will be using that probably to make these videos as well. It'll be easier to balance. It'll be a lot smaller. But it's just frustrating. I mean, I love cameras. I love my cameras. I've never had problems with a film camera like I do with a digital one. Um, I've had film cameras last for decades before they've gone on the blink. And all they need really is a CLA. They just need somebody to have a quick look at them and check it's all right and sort them out. But with the digital ones, if this costs more to repair it than just to replace it, but unless you've got a lot of money, replacing it's not easy. So there we go. Especially if one has to get a new car, which one does not want. One really does not want a new car. Jennifer's good. She's so funny. So when we change her nappy now, we put it in the nappy bag and get her dressed. And obviously you have to put the nappy down when you're doing that. And when I put her, her down to go and get the nappy to put it in the bin, she'll pick it up before me in, in the nappy bag. Obviously it's in the nappy sack. And she'll go and toddle off to the bin and then put it in the bin herself. She's just so cute. We went to Risk Affair on the weekend. They had like a fun fair in the park. Very small. Only about five rides. Um, yeah, about five rides and some food and two game stalls um, but that's enough because she's too young anyway for most things now we do have another fair later in the year but that's more for the teenagers and it's scary stuff so it wouldn't be for Jen and um, she went on two rides she's been on one ride at the, the summer fate that they have when she went on a little teacup ride with her dad and this time she went on a ride with her granddad which was sort of like little cars and she went on a train with me it was like a little train that goes around and around and it was nice and my mum came out and my mum won her a ball on the hooker duck she wanted to go on she wanted to go on the hooker duck and try and win Jennifer a prize which is so sweet apparently she loves the little ball she's been playing with it loads and we got some candy floss which she'd never had before so that was quite interesting she wasn't sure on that Paul ate most of it I've got to be honest and then we went, we hadn't had a drink before we went home. It was nice. We had a good time. We were supposed to be going to the record fair, but of course, because we didn't have the car, we didn't go because we could have gone on the bus. But I'm kind of spoiled. And we're going on holiday next month sometime to Tenerife. 
and I thought, you know what, I can save the money I would have spent at the record fair and spend it on holiday. So, and Jennifer's never been on a plane, so this will be fun. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? But um, we're going to the hotel we've stayed at before. I'm hoping to have my new vlogging camera by then if I can. Because it'll be nice. I don't really want to take this DSLR. I love my DSLR when it works. It's probably just got dust in it. Probably just needs to clean. But I don't really have the space to take it on the plane now. Whereas before, I would take it and I'd have a camera bag full of gear and memory cards, lenses. I don't have the luxury of being able to do that now because I need to take stuff for Jennifer. I need to be able to take her nappies and stuff. So I'm not going to be able to um, take her a big camera with me and my, compact, my little compact one that I would use, it's not good enough for vlogging on. It's just not good enough. So that's why I wanted a new one to just and because I do like vlogging and I would I would film the weekly vlog on it, I expect, and the daily ones. And I know cameras do wear out the more you use them. And I do use this one quite a lot for filming. Um, as you know. I don't use it a lot for taking stills anymore. I used to. I used to take a lot of stills. But I, again, I don't have the time to sit at a computer and process them. There's just so much going on with... Working, looking after Jennifer, looking after the house, and and then trying to do the eBay thing as well. You know, there's just there's not enough hours in the day. That's why I have to do this sort of part of the block, my YouTube stuff after everybody's gone to bed. I've got book reviews I want to to film. I've got two or three I need to do. They're all Marilyn related for you, Marilyn peeps. So. I also need to film some more Marilyn scrapbooks. I've got one more to go ready, but I need to get some more filmed. And again, I'm going to have to do that in the evening, so I might try and do that tomorrow night, get a couple of them in the in the can if the camera's working. I'll just bring one down. But I mean, I've also I do some work on the listings in the evening. So for instance, I put five auctions up today and I've got five things measured ready to be listed now I've already started drafting them there's just a few details I need to put in the listings so I do like to measure them I don't know why I bother because people don't read them anyway but I have the reason I do it is I've had people come and ask me when I haven't done it oh can we have the measurements and I've had to go and get them out of storage get them out of their stock bags measure them add it to the listing email the person with the information and then pack it all back up again so it is just easier to do it straight away. I think part of the reason I had good sales the other week is I've put everyone on one or two percent promoted listings. And I think those promoted listings they are helping. Yeah, what do you think about like the budget thing because I mean I, I'll admit I'm lucky to have what I've got. I've got my polychromos in the Black Friday sale a couple of years ago. I can't remember how much they were. They were I think 120 but I, I, I would say I think that's about where they were when they were down for like 180 to 120 or something like that anyway. And my Prismacolors were on sale at 80 something. They were between 80 and 90. But I had a voucher from work as a bonus and I used that to get it. So they didn't actually cost me anything. And of course I've got the the colour softs and the ink tents, which I haven't used for ages and I do want to because I do like them. It's like the colour softs I bought the 48 and then I bought the rest of them singularly, which was very expensive and a silly way to do it really. But um and I do like the colour softs as well, so. Ooh, we're getting there. I will be using them again. I mean, I might make a video on every single pencil I've got. 
you know, but it might take more than one if we're doing a, a, a big picture. Because I, I do know that not everybody can afford it. I can't afford to buy a lot of supplies and books this time. I did buy a load of books the other week. I turned that computer off. Why is it still on? I'll have a look at it in a minute. don't know. Um, yeah, I can't afford to buy a lot of books and stuff. I, I did buy some the other week. So when this new stuff comes in from W.H. Smith, I'll probably do a haul. Um... I don't do complete current pages because I just don't get a chance to complete many in a month. I know most people do them in months. I'm more likely to do them in six months because although I'm doing this once a week now and I'm going to be trying to do the budget ones, it is very hard for me to complete anything because when Jennifer's in the room, I can't. She keeps grabbing the pencils. So it has to be when she's gone to bed. Back at work tomorrow, so she'll be back in bed early the rest of this week. So that'll be good. I might get a chance to actually do some colour in it that's not. You know, I've got that picture in the Vogue book to finish. The 50s book. I want to do a bit of that, I think, this week. Because I do enjoy it, and it is relaxing, and... But obviously she's got to come first and I don't begrudge her a single second of my time because she's amazing. Saying that though, it's nice she's in bed and I'm here and I'm having some time to myself and it is nice. But she will grab the pencils. She has got like crayons and she will colour with them. Well, I say colour, she scribbles. She scribbles with them, which is fair enough. She's only a baby, she's not going to be able to do much with them at her age. When she gets older she will. And hopefully she'll enjoy it and I can get her some lovely books. I've already got her a couple upstairs and then if she's got a couple of books she can... Yeah I quite like that. She can just, you know, scribble on them, play with them, do whatever it is she wants to do with them because they're hers. I, mean, I don't mind her drawing on the covers of the ones I've got, especially the Curry and Heaven ones, which are designed to be coloured in. I don't mind. And I don't get all of their episodes. So, for instance, the current one is Dark Crystal. which just doesn't appeal to me, it's not my kind of thing, so it just means I've got more money to spend on something else this month and that next month they might do one that I really want. I think the Christmas special is out now as well. Somebody mentioned there's a Christmas one out in the shops, but without a car I feel bad because my dad's having to take me shopping and stuff and uh, I don't want to hold him up. He don't mind, he likes looking around the shops. But I don't want to keep him from what he wants to do, from his thing, which is stuff in the garden. Yeah, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing, am I? I'm so stupid. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't even doing that one, I was showing you what I See, I'm not really not with it. So yeah, if I can keep the camera working, if the camera works, Tomorrow, I will probably do another video. I don't know what it be. It might be the Marin scrapbooks. It might be something else. <laughs> I have to see. I have, like I said, I've got. I'm trying to film my coloring book collection because it's all kept upstairs, and I can't film upstairs because it's too dark up there, and I'm not moving my light from the spare room. I could try to do it in the spare room. I have to bring the books down and... Which means they're um, everywhere. So, hey ho. I quite like the way those little things, they sort of like that pansy look. I like them. 
that. So I have been watching some colouring videos, not many. It's just having the time. I watch so many different YouTubers. Like I said before, there's that guy, um, My Showbiz Life or My Love Affair with Showbiz, whatever it is, something like that. I love that he had another one up, which was really good about the two kings, Gable and Presley. Jordan the Lion had a good one up today, Sunday, on the Reno filming locations from the film The Misfits, which of course was Marilyn's last completed movie. So that was a really, really good one. I love Jordan the Lion. I've loved him since I've discovered him. And, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Oh, I'm tired. It won't be long now, though. We need a yellow. But, yeah. I mean, other than the problem with the car, last week was a really good week. Sales were good. You know, Jennifer was good. I got some decent stuff at the, the sale where I get my some of my stock from. I think amazing. I did get, what did I get? I got a Bowden jacket. Which was nice. I need to get some nice stuff. But. It can be quite hard sometimes. Because I get, I do get quite stressed out and it gets so many things going wrong. I know it's life, we got to get on with it, but it's just because I don't want to deal with, like I said, new car stuff. Because it's just, ugh, new car. Nice, but hassle. Phoning up the insurance company with a detail, oh, I can't, I can't be dealing with it. So the camera seems to be okay at the moment. I will have to have a good look at it tomorrow, because I do want to get some more of the... I have started filming the complete colouring book collection. It was like I said, but I have to keep moving the bits around because it's all over the place. So it might have a different background next the next clip. And then again, it might not. I was going to do some of it tonight. I'm glad I didn't because i got to be honest. If, ooh, what was that? That was my phone hitting the deck. Because I have a, it's late and I want to get to bed now, so we'll be finishing soon. It's, we've done 22 minutes, 23 minutes. That's okay, she's looking good. I've got all the ones that look like little pansies. I've done all of them. That's cool. I want to do the next ones in pink. Oh, should we have blue flowers? I don't know. I don't know. Red, maybe. Guess that point where you're not sure what colour to do next, doesn't it? And you're like, um, hmm. What colour is that? That's broken. What's that one? Crimson red. Oh dear, what's happened to that one? Let's have a look. Oh, that is not looking very good at all. Hang on, let's have another look. Oh, that's an eBay message. It's either something ending or somebody wants something from me. Ugh. Yeah, this crimson red's just breaking. That's the problem with prisma colours, they can just break. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to order one of them, I think. I'm actually putting my shavings in a nappy bag because I can't find the one I normally use. I don't know where it is. Where has it been put in here? Just been put in here. Oops. Don't know why. Mine it has. Let's try it on that one then. See if that'll work. Red's my favourite colour. I'm not going to lie. No, that's just breaking. I'll just order one. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh, that's full and all. Empty that in there. Alright, let's have a look in the colour softs for the red then. Oh, I do like the colour softs. Um, what colour 
colour's that one? It's deep red, red, scarlet. So I'm going to colour in the little hearts that are around the top. You see there's a little heart there and there and I'm just going to shade them in in this colour for now. So that took me like five minutes just to, well two minutes just to do that. I always dread that noise from eBay because it's like oh somebody want to return something. It could well be something's ending. I don't even know where my phone is. I can't get to it from here, can I? Tripod's in the way. Hang on. I'm going to have to have a look. Oh, excuse me. I'll just destroy the place. And again. And again. It's one of those things where you get a message and you think, oh my God, what now? Uh, watch item reminder. So something I'm watching is ending soon. Phew. We don't like it when we get ones where they say, Da 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 wants to return your item. It's like, no. Because in the UK, I think I've mentioned this before, you have to accept returns if you're a business seller. Whereas in the States, they don't have business and private sellers. We do in the UK because of the, the laws. So while our laws are better in some ways, in other ways, they're a bit pain. So what we have to do is we have to accept returns. We cannot, as if your private sellers can turn down returns unless their item not as described, but business sellers have to accept returns because of the way the law is here. A buyer has a right to return an item within so, so many days. So obviously I've got a business account, I have to accept returns. Which can be a nightmare because you do lose a bit of money. Because you refund the item and the postage, so you lose the postage. And if it's an item not as described, you have to pay the postage as well back. Which means you're out two lots of postage. I'm looking for some more hearts. There's some more down here. But it's the nature of the beast if you want to sell on eBay as a business in the UK. I enjoy doing eBay, so... I've set myself a goal of just doing five new listings a day, just to keep it ticking over. I've got some cameras out that need to be photographed. That'll be done this week. I've got a load of cameras that still need testing. But I can't find the battery for them, so I might have to order a new battery um, when I order my new memory card. The problem I'm gonna have is if we go to, well, when we go to Tenerife, if I wanna vlog out there, I am not gonna have enough memory card um, I've got loads of memory cards, but they're not fast enough for film. They're all right for stills. They overheat. They make the camera overheat. They can't, they can't record the information quick enough. It's all right for little clips, but not for any prolonged thing. And as we will be going to Laura Park more than once, I do want to... Uh, to um, vlog it because Jennifer's not going to be able to take in all the animals immediately. She's not. It's going to be too overwhelming for her. So we figured if we get one of those return tickets you can get, we can go two or three times then. Transport goes from outside our hotel, literally outside. It's a little train, which will be fun for her. I've got a waterproof digital camera. I can't get into this bit because I need to turn the book because it's a, uh... there we go. This is where the camera stopped again. So I don't know, I think it's overheating probably. 
a bit like the car so I will wrap this up in a minute for today and if I can and we're lucky we will have some more videos this week that are colouring or Marilyn scrapbooks you might not see them all this week but they will be filmed I hope so anyway but I can't guarantee it because I just don't know whether the camera's going to work tomorrow I will just finish off the hearts with this first layer which is scarlet and then I'm going to go over them with the the two other colour soft reds but we'll do that next week I think right is that all the hearts Oh no, there's a couple more down the bottom here. Let me turn it back around. My table, you can see. There are some hearts in her hair as well, so we'll just go around and get them. Then I'll know where I am next week when we start again. Because next week, Saturday or Sunday, whatever day it is, I can get on here. Assuming I can get the memory cards working. We will carry on with our lovely lady from the Flower Girls book by Jade Summer. We're getting there though. And I can decide what colours the rest. I'm going to put, like I said, I'm put a different shade of red over the top of the hearts. I don't know what colours do her hair. Uh, hair I'm not very good at. I might do different greys. Excuse me sniffling. Right, is that all the hearts? Are those all the hearts done? I think we've done them all. Right, I'm going to leave it there then. So let's just zoom out so we can have a look at how she's looking. There she is, looking lovely. So I'm going to call that a night. It is now it's 11 o'clock, so I have to get to bed because I get up at 6. So I will just go and put this onto the computer so I can edit it. God, I'm tired. I hope you've enjoyed this video and me rambling on about everything that's gone wrong in the last week. But some things have gone right, which is good. Um, I will see you with some other videos later this week. There will be, like I said, a weekly vlog. So keep an eye out for that. That will be up either next Sunday or Monday. So not for a while yet. But for now, I'm going to call again. Call it a night. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment, share it with your friends, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe, I do appreciate it. And um, obviously if you do subscribe, click the notification bell so that every time I post a video on this channel, you will be notified. I will see you all soon. Thanks for tuning in. Love you all. Bye.